Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, describes the gradual loss of kidney function. The primary function of your kidneys is to filter your blood, to remove waste and water. However, over time, conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or even other diseases like autoimmune and congenital can damage the kidneys and weaken their ability to filter waste and water from your blood. Now, depending on the disease that is causing the kidney dysfunction, you may be diagnosed with conditions like diabetic nephropathy, polycystic kidney disease, hypertensive nephrosclerosis, and when we use the term CKD, it applies to all of these conditions. The two most common causes of chronic kidney disease are high blood pressure and diabetes. So people with these conditions are at risk for CKD. Other people at risk include those with a family history of renal disease and those who take a lot of painkillers, even over-the-counter products like ibuprofen. CKD tends to be a silent disease, and in the early stages of it, there are usually no symptoms. As the disease progresses, some symptoms may include changes to how often you need to urinate, feeling tired or drowsy, losing appetite, swelling in the feet and in the hands, a feeling of itchiness or numbness, nausea, vomiting, muscle cramps, and darkness of skin. Often, kidney diseases are discovered through routine testing of blood or urine. The major blood test that is performed to diagnose CKD is the serum creatinine, which estimates how well the kidneys are removing waste products. The serum creatinine, along with other factors such as age, race, and gender, are used to estimate the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR, which is a measure of kidney function. Unfortunately, there is no cure for CKD, but treatment is designed to delay the progression of the disease. There are some medications that can help slow down the progression of the disease, but the main interventions consist in controlling the underlying condition. People with reduced kidney function should see their doctors regularly to keep their blood sugar and blood pressure levels under control and avoid taking painkillers or smoking. Treatment options for patients with very low kidney function or in the end stages of CKD include dialysis and kidney transplantation.